UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Is cutting things your thing? Watch till the end of this video to see Blade HQ cut some things. I've partnered with Olight to bring you these videos and a special offer. Stay tuned. Shot Show 2018, we're at White River Knife and Tool. We're back here with John. How are you, man? Hey, welcome, Shane. Thanks hey, for coming back. Thank you for having me back. Now, um, we've got some updates to some of the stuff that you've had for a while, and also some brand new stuff. I want to talk about all of them, man. Yeah, we'll start off with the Model 1 here, the knife that we started with back in 2011. All right. You'll be familiar with the Caper. It retails yep. for 150 And that's our featured skinning knife. Mm -hmm. Then we released a backpacker, which you're familiar with as well. Yes. Which retails for 90 Yep. Nothing this, really in between, though. Nothing in between until this year. We wanted to come out with something kind of middle price range. So we have a bolt-on G10 scale version offered in orange or black texture G10. Those retail for 115 Oh, yeah. Or if somebody owns a backpacker already and they want to get the bolt-on scales, they can order just the scale set uh, kit from us as well. Awesome. So the pattern of the knife, the pattern of the handle is all the same um, with everything that they've you've had Correct. from the beginning. Yep. So you can get just get the bolt-on handle scale and it's good to go. Exactly. That's great news. Yep. Uh, we've updated the sheath. As you know, this is the new Kydex sheath system. Uh, they got the belt cl clip that can be mounted in various configurations, 45 degree or horizontal carry. Yeah. And we offered these in Kydex or leather in the past. If somebody does have a leather sheath, now they can buy the Kydex sheath from the website as well. Um, I like what you did with the, the Kydex here. We've got a great, great little, you know, it's a rivet point, but it's also kind of a little thumb ramp that I can push that out with. Yep. So very utilitarian, uh, very friendly for sort of EDC use and, and uh, basically anything, but uh, well done. Well, yes, thank it's, you. It's a very well redesigned sheath. I like it. Cool, man. So, so moving on from there, yeah. something similar uh, we wanted to introduce into our Firecraft line, which has been very popular for us this last year, is a smaller Firecraft blade having some of the same features as the line. So we have this Firecraft FC 3.5 now. It's got the sharpened notch mm -hmm. for striking a ferro rod, and the, everything in front of that is a nice 90 degree spine as well. I noticed that. Uh, right here in the back of the blade, though, is still stonewashed, rounded. Okay. So that's not sharp. For uh, comfort. So yeah, you're not going to have any sharp areas where your hand's going to be holding onto that blade. Gotcha, gotcha. What's this going to be retailing for uh, in contrast against the rest of the fire? The uh, Paracord Rat version is 110, and the version with scales on it that you see here is 135. And those all come with uh, ferro rod with the... Will you do that yep, for me? my car to handle on them. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Looks nice. So that whole kit there would have a sheath system like this with the ferro rod also attached. And tell me the the, the price on this whole kit. Uh, this one is one thirty five for this kit right here. That's not bad. Yeah. And the steel on it is uh, S thirty five VN. S really? Yep. All that for S thirty five. You got it, dude. That's nice. You got it. That's not bad at yep. all. I'm down with that. So here it is, uh, showing piggybacked, for example, with the FC seven. Cool. So that's the whole kit right there. If you were to buy both, combine them together. Uh huh. It's kind of designed to have, have a rig there. So beat up your FC7, use it, and keep this one super sharp for more delicate tasks. I just noticed something. So, you did this kind of clever there, just pulling that out with yep. one finger. Yeah, this you can Since you can't access. get your hand around it when it's exactly. attached like that. That's why the, the loop's on that back. Oh, that's yeah, why. It's so real. That's, yep. I was going to say, so, it's a good aesthetic thing, but it's also kind of a little retention thing, but it's also a good way to draw that knife when it's in that piggyback configuration. Got it. Nice, dude. Uh, we got some other really good looking knives. Yeah, uh, we have stuff. a whole new uh, line uh, des designed by Owen Baker. It's three knives. This is an ATK. Stands for the always there knife. It's a little boot neck knife. It can go back in the sheath either direction. So if you take it out, you use it. You don't have to worry about which way it's turned oh, in. It'll click okay, back in cool. there. Uh, the small game, which has been very popular this show. It's a nice palm swell ergonomic a handle shape there. Oh get, yeah, I get can a see photo that. on that. Yeah, that's nice. And this is a new material for us too this year. It's called Rich Light. It's like a paper-based paper micarta, if you will. That's what I was. I was very wondering, stable. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask you about that because I saw that on one of these other knives we're going to see in a second. Yeah. But I was like, that's that's, that's not like micarta. It doesn't feel like micarta. It's, it's something yeah, new. It's, it's a it's a paper. It's like what? a paper micarta. It's very rigid, very durable. Yeah. Um, it's used in mu musical instruments. They use it on X Games ramps. It's a, it's a 
waterproof material. What musical and, instruments do they use it on? Uh, like guitar fretboards. Oh, okay. So, well, I guess that makes sense. Yep. Cool. And we're using it on, on our in knives now of, this year. In place of rosewood. That's yep. So we have a standard uh, red, red and black coloring option, or the the maple and black scales as well. Looks nice. Cool. So man. then a little bit bigger Skinner is the Hunter. Uh, also available with a leather sheath. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the leather sheath there, is it? Yeah, or correct. this is yep. for that guy. And there's the hunter in the guys. sheath there. Okay, I see it. And nice we also good. have these all in our standard micarta versions as well, so you get it in green, black, or natural micarta okay. as well. Excellent. Yep. Good. Then moving over here, we got the, our camp cleaver, one of our most popular knives of the show here. Eye catching. Yep. Design, kind of like a nest muck blade shape blended with a cleaver. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just a really cool uh, tool for use, using around camp, whether it's doing working with wood or carving up potatoes or making food prep or whatever. Right. So and that comes in a nice leather sheath set up like that. Store it that way or hang it on a rusty nail in the cabin. Yep. There whatever you, go. you choose to do. Exactly. I like it. And that one looks like 230. 230, correct. Cleaver. All right. S35? That's S35BN as well. Yep. All right. Nice. Yep. This is the one that I was really attracted to um, when I came over to the booth initially. Yeah. That's a very classic looking kind of bushcrafty knife. Tell us about it. It is. It's a four and a half inch blade. Uh, one of our designs for the new for this year. Uh, it's designed to be just a no frills workhorse type blade. Mm -hmm. The Some of the small details to notice in here is this top of the spine is rounded still right by where your hand would be using it. Yeah but we transition to a really sharp 90 degree spine the further out you go so you can strike a ferro rod still get good sparks with that knife oh that's yeah great i can all, see that i can feel that all the uh, fasteners in that knife have uh, of course loctited and they have lock washers underneath them and perfectly flush with the top of the knife so even though it's fasteners used to bolt the handle on it's so smooth it, almost, it feels like a, a perfectly contoured blade right, blade right. there and handle so Little lanyard loop on the end there. Lanyard loop in the back. Yep. And those are come standard with this leather sheath with the fer ferro rod as well. Mm hmm So I was playing with that earlier. It's uh, it's got strong retention to it. Probably breaks in over time. Yeah. Loosens up a little bit. Yeah. When they're brand new, they got a pretty good amount of. They're stiff. Well, that's good. Yeah. You want to start off stiff. Yep. So and then our ferro rods, like you can see here, they have this little elastic loop on them. So that can't come out of the sheath if you don't want yep. to take it off. Yep, smart. Yep, smart. So the Ursus 45, Ursus, you said Latin for bear. Latin for bear. That's for right. those of you that didn't know that, I didn't know that. But uh, in the, here's that sort of uh, paper, what do you call it? Yeah, that's the rich light material as well on that one. Rich light, okay. Yes. Rich light plus my card on my card. Cool, so it'll be available. And, and is there a price jump for rich light or is it? Nope, all those are the same price. Oh, okay. Yep. All of them coming in at 2 25 looks like for the Ursus 45 and that's with the leather sheath correct. Uh, and with the ferro rod and the ferro rod the ferro, ferro rod. rods included correct so full package for uh, right on man yeah. I like it yeah, so um, it's all looking good I'm particularly happy with you know sort of something like this that's very budget-minded like guys that are want to get into a very nice knife for uh, not a ton of money um, that is now completely squared away 115 for this guy uh, I just love it. I'm going to be, be picking up a, a set of scales for myself because uh, I think it's worth kind of making that little upgrade to my backpacker. Um, and probably one of these sheets too because those are nice. I like them. Right on. John, thanks yeah. so much. Hey, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate All right, really appreciate the tour. And we are at SHOT Show 2018, White River Knives. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Holly with Blade HQ. This is my Mora companion, and my favorite thing to cut is stale French baguettes. <laughs>